Hey, I'm back. Where was I in this story again? Oh, yeah. Bon dia. Another day of adventure with my pal con chorizo and my galau. Today, weather's kind of crappy. So, we're going to check out, we're going to try to do a two for one today and check out two gyms. Now, uh, I want to thank everybody from the last video. You guys all came out and said, and said, I live in Portugal, I can take you climbing. I really appreciate that. I'll definitely be hitting up some of you guys to go out and check Sintra or some boulders or something. Uh, and you showed me some places that I never even knew existed. So I guess I'll hop on that magic carpet ride and check those places out. The North Wall Rock Gym in Porto, Portugal. Let's check this place out. First off, you gotta know it's Portugal. Got a cafe, outside seating area, and beer. Can you imagine beer inside of a rock gym? Talk about injuries, right? <laughs> anyway, second floor, got a spray wall, kilt board, campus, you know, exercise spot, erg, gotta get, gotta get that cardio in. In the middle, we have a, basically the layout is a giant central boulder and then climbing all around and check out the kids penned off section keep those kids out from under me am i right so over here is the uh is the uh, auto blade section i guess no no lead climbing no top roping uh low risk low risk gym right you know pretty smart this gym's about a year old so everything's looking pretty clean this right here is their hardest grade uh, black tag. They went to black tag at this gym. This is uh, a black tag climb doing a uh, Bicycle underneath there. So we got pressure on the right foot and the left foot keeping us on cutting loose That's your feet swinging out dead pointing up to this basically jugs bucket. That was a little bit of a hard uh, dyno uh, Dead point and then we're basically the whole climb is a bunch of dead points So we're going up here jump up here cut loose again get the feet back on on the sloper moving left Oh, this is what happens when your kids grow up and you don't teach them not to climb under people. And <laughs> going more left and uh, keep on going. We've got a bit of a small hold on the left behind. You can't see it. And then go right. And then a bit of a sloper there. And we finish it off. Nice. Cool set. Over here, we got the kids climbing now. Keeping them occupied. This is a really smart thing to do. Have little kid sections. I think more gyms could, should have kid exclusive sections keep them penned off i mean i love when my kids are climbing but i think other people get pretty uh upset with with kids with kids jumping on their chalk bag and sticking their hands in your chalk bag but uh this is pretty cool it's got a little slide underneath so i mean they just had a blast uh okay so here this climb uh it's basically it looks like jugs but it's not it was like you wish there were jugs, but they're blocked off slopers. Like you, you want to get your hand deeper into it, but they're kind of all blocked off. I'm um, just kind of not doing this right. Got my right hand in here. There's a bunch of holes I'm skipping. I'm gonna ghost match here, which is basically you just pull your right hand out and then get your left hand out. And there's a brief moment of no hands on the wall at all. You're kind of just pulling one out, slapping one in at the same time. We're going to go keep on going right on these crossover. Slap that on the right, and then keep going left. There's a bit of a pinch here, and we're gonna get it. Get the top right there, nice. Sent it. So this right here is probably the coolest set for me. I like this one the most. So I like doing dynamic stuff. So jump up here, boom, catch. We gotta get our foot where our right hand is. So we're gonna move left, left hand. Dead point the right hand back over. Now we get the right foot on. Now we're going to move left. That keeps our whole body weight on the wall. Now we got to cut loose, dissipate the swing, uh, get that energy out by letting the feet go high left. And then jump up, dead point that. A bit of a pinch, another little bit of a pinch, and then bop. Got a little bit of a, almost a drop knee on that, on that right side. Cool set. Right here is how you assert your dominance at the gym to let everybody know you are indeed the strongest climber at the gym. You don't even need your feet. You're gonna just use your hands. It's called campusing or campusing all the way to the right. Actually, my skin was just so tired. It was time to try to get my arms tired. And after this, it was definitely time to look for some real rock. Okay, so our story continues. We've gone from the climbing gym to a 
did it! <laughs> Alright, take out the maps and find a way over there. Because this is not how we get to the climbing area. Sure, there's plenty of rocks to climb here. Yeah, cobblestone. Right there. <laughs> cobblestone is the type of stone you can climb on. Uh, we'll make it somehow, I think. Hands on the phone, steady aim, zoom into the goose, zoom out, go look at the light, then go over the bridge. Okay. Now to film the bridge. The videographer. <laughs> we have found the way. We have found a road that is not of cobble. We're heading for, what's the name of the church? What's the, name, what's the name of the church? Anyway, there's a church up there. We're gonna see if we can climb around it. I'm guessing it's this way. The road's more paved. If the road's more paved, it's probably a good bet to go this way. That looks not like the way. Obrigado pela sua vista. Thank you for your visit. Oh. <laughs> Capella Strada. Don't fall off the cliff. Oh, there's the church. You want to roll down to the church? Sure. Well, it looks like I found a climbing area. Limestone. There's a bolt. Right there we see that streak, right in the middle of the frame. So there is some sport here. I didn't bring in my rope or my helmet <laughs> because I thought I would just be bouldering a Sintra. I didn't know there was anything to climb on here in central Portugal, but we are in the town of Renita. I'll put the, I'll put whatever the name of it is on screen, but that's way down in there. We are on top of a ridge and it looks like there's some interesting climbing features over here something that goes i don't think there's anything that goes up this thing it would be it would be extreme it'd be gnarly that's like stuff's like polished but it looks like it's a little higher up there and also i think there is a road that gets us on top so if i'm ever here next time i'm just gonna have to solo some stuff well look look there is there is bolts right there look at that there's bolts right there and something goes over that lip and through here. Wow, that's gnarly. Let's get a closer look. So there's a little dish here. I don't know what that goes, but I don't see any bolts over here. The first bolt is way right there. There's another bolt there and then Oh, there's another, there's a bolt there, bolt there. Oh, there's a bolt there. Oh, now I'm seeing the bolts. Wow, okay, so bolt, bolt, bolt. So it goes up this like ladder thing. Goes over here, up under this roof, over there, and then out over this church. Okay, I may or may not be on top of the church. Okay, so then what comes up over this, where this black streak is, up over here, and then the top out is right there. Awesome. Cool. There's some more over here. Right on. These guys have the right idea. Sick. Another one. It's crazy is you could like belay right out of your sun car. Like you just park right there, start climbing. You saw the dogs? Just for the record, what I'm about to do is not 
soloing. I'm not sport climbing. I am high ball bouldering. I really like these uh, La Sportiva squamas, but the only thing I don't like about them is barefoot. This like, uh, what is this, Vel not Velcro. It's like the stretchy material. It really, it just doesn't feel good on the foot. It kind of it's wears elastic. the foot out. It's like, a, yeah, elastic. I mean, if you get it right, it's kind of noticeable, but when you know it's there, you know it's there, you know what I mean? It's not a soloing how-to video, but like, uh, yeah. climbing up and then down, little by little, is a good way to know you're not climbing into a situation where you could just uh -oh. fall off and do something stupid. Uh -oh. it's the bad a mono jug. Uh oh. Yeah, this is like five eight or something. I I am a robot. Well, sounds kind of hollow. <laughs> How many people get to sit in the eyeball? La Monster Ojos. Got this like two foot thing. It's pretty cool. Look at this thing right here. Look at these like mono jugs. Let's see if Daddy can climb this blank face. Let's see if there's a crimp up there. Watch out, Ella. Daddy's gonna heal this one. Why? I'm still getting used to the like. Back up more and uh, zoom out. You got like a widescreen? Uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun time editing this one. Just back up. I can't. Alright. Listen to daddy. Listening? Uh -huh. Do not walk under daddy. Stay right there, Unless okay? Unless you want to get squished like a bug. Stay right there in the cave, okay? <laughs> Let's try that again. That's the top. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Get a little workout. Alright. We ready to go? What? Ready to go? Just got here. I know you could 
be here all day. Got a little fire here in the time of night. Hey, Daddy. What? What's that noise? Oh, what? Come here to a little girl. Oh, what you just said. What's down the wall? Well, this place is awesome, but I got no rope. So, I'll have to be back at some point. But now, we're, we're in central Portugal, so I'm still driving down to Lisbon, Lisboa. And uh, see what boulders are around there. But this place is pretty sick. You could film a whole day's worth of content here. But the sun's going down. Got to go eat. And uh, next trip to Portugal, I'll probably be spending some time here. Chill, slow pokes. So that wraps up my Portugal adventure. I had a great time. Thank you all for reaching out. Hit that subscribe button. Now I got to edit this thing together. And I'll see you in the next one. Josh Perry, climb it out of here.